Electrodeposition Introduction The process of forming a solid phase either as a result of the reduction of ions in solution as in the case of metal deposition or by oxidation of the electrode in the solution and subsequent reaction with an anion to form an anodic film is called electrodeposition. It is a well-known conventional surface modification method that assembles solid materials from molecules, ions, or complexes in a solution. It is done by using constant potential or current either in pulse or step. The cathode should be specially designed. It is a low cost, simple and efficient, and it gives good control over the size and distribution of particles. It works on Faraday's laws of electrolysis. Both the metal to be deposited at the anode and the substrate at the cathode are immersed in an electrochemical bath and direct current is passed. It can be categorized into the following three processes. Electroplating, electrophoretic deposition, and under potential deposition. The influences factors in electrodeposition are current density, solution concentration, bath composition and temperature, nature of the anions and cations in the solution, power supply current waveform, presence of impurities, physical and chemical nature of substrate surface etc. and advantages of electrode deposition over other liquid phase and gas phase deposition techniques are they allow growing functional nanoparticles through complex 3D nano templates this can be performed within an anaporous membrane which serves to act as a template for nanoparticle growth applicable at room temperature from water based electrolytes these methods are suitable to scale down to the deposition of a few atoms or up to large dimensions, film thickness could range from 1 nanometer to 10 microns, etc. Applications of electrode deposition techniques are They are used to make nanocrystalline metals, alloys, and composite materials. They are used for the production of dendritic hierarchical structures and many well-ordered transition metal oxides, hydroxides and sulfides. They are used in jewelry making to coat base metals with precious metals to make them more attractive and valuable and sometimes more durable. They are used to increase wear resistance. They are used to protect against surface abrasions. They are used to reduce friction. They are used to improve electrical conductivity. They are used to prepare surfaces for better adhesion before painting or recoating. They are used to make materials brittle stronger and more durable. They are used in magnetic applications such as the manufacturing of computer hard drives. They are used for providing an undercoating that facilitates adhesion with additional coatings etc. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more videos, bye bye, see you.